Hi boom, what's good people, it's your boy back again, Deals Online with another one and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remote play on your PC or your Mac. Um, this is a new update for your PlayStation 4, the 3.5 system software update which enables remote play on your laptops, your PCs, your Macs or your computers. And I'm going to show you guys how to set up and how it all works. So without further ado, da -da 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 -da, let's go, yeah! Firstly guys, you're going to want to go on your PlayStation 4 and download the new 3.50 system software update. Then you're going to go to this link, it'll be in the description below so don't worry. And you're going to scroll down, it's a PlayStation blog. It, shows, it tells you a few new things about the update, new features like a pair offline, uh, friend online notifications, schedule events and a few other things. Then you're going to go down to here um, to remote play PC or Mac. Shows you um, it's compatible with these software so make sure you have one of these. Um, then go, you're going to go to, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, you're going to go to after system software update launches, you've got to download the remote play installer. So you're going to click here, I've already clicked it, and it will take you to this page. And this page, whether you have Windows or Mac, you're going to click whatever one you have. So I click Mac because I'm using a Mac right now. And then once you click it, however your computer installs it, it will just install it. Obviously if you have a Mac, you go to here, click that, and then to go through the inst installation phase, or Whatever. And then you're going to want to go, once you've installed it, go to PS4 Remote Play and then click Start. But before you click Start, make sure to plug in your controller. I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller, Scarf controller. And then you're going to click Start and then it will search nearby for your PlayStation. It may take a while, it may take a few seconds, it could take maybe a couple of minutes. Um, so say it says I may take a few minutes to find the PlayStation 4. Just so you guys are aware, the PlayStation has to be on for this to work. It can be on um, rest mode, but you have to make sure you click on go to rest mode onto your PlayStation 4 settings and say enable your PlayStation 4 to be turned on and click the box. Because um, once you click start, it will turn on your PlayStation if it's on rest mode. It's turning on my PlayStation right now and um, it's just waiting for it to work. So let's give it a few seconds. So now it says, it says connect into the PS4, on my PlayStation 4 it says the following user has been connected to using Remote Play, me, or it says, it says my name on it, um, and it's, it's, work, it's, it's still connecting, it's taken a while, it didn't take this long before but it's taken a while right now, but let's give it a second. So it's connected I believe, just checking the connection environment right now, and here we have it, so we have the PlayStation 4 Remote Play, so this is the screen, this is what it looks like, as you guys can see right here. Let me move it above a bit to the left, to my left, and here we go. So, we have my controller, as you can see, if I click, it moves it. Yeah, see it's moving, you see it's moving. There's a bit of a, it's a bit of a delay, like, it's not like the sharpest and cleanest move, but it's alright, it gets the job done, guys, it gets the job done. And I thought I'd show you guys a bit of um, how it works, like, gameplay-wise. I played a few games with it, and it's a bit here and there. Like it can lag a bit, and like you say, the sensitivity is very weird. Like you'll move it, and then it'll take like it'll have like a delayed move, which I'm not expecting the most crisp, but it's not, it's not that great. You couldn't jump online and play like a really good game unless you had like crazy connection, like crazy good connection. But uh, I think my connection is quite decent. I, like, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. I say it's alright, guys. So let's just get jump into it straight away. Playing a bit of a uh, bo tray. So, we're going to jump straight online to see how it works. I already know how it works, but I'm going to show you guys how it looks and everything. So we jump straight online, right now. So guys, we jumped in the straight into a game of Team Deathmatch on Combine. I'm showing you guys what it's like. This, that is a bit, it's a bit weird. It is a bit weird, yeah? Like, there's a bit of delay on like your sensitivity. Look, I actually it's off. Actually it's off, like. It's not because I'm a bad gamer, like if you go on my channel I have good gameplay, it's just that it's a bit weird. It's very weird indeed, literally. Like it's just, the sensitivity just feels very weird, like look, it's a bit like a, it's a bit laggy. Complain my connection but, my connection's not that bad. I'm gonna jump all the way around. Jump all the way around. Move, move, move. See that, it's a bit, see look, it's a bit, it's a, look, look. Look at my movement, my movement is so weird. Like it's not regular movement, now I'm lagging a touch. Screen's gone crazy, screen's gone crazy, like it's, it's, it's not the greatest, yeah, it's not the greatest. I ain't got the best, I, I think my connection is this, I'm literally not right next to the router. And this is how I'm playing right next to the router. I'll upload, on the screen you'll show, my, I'll show you guys my upload speed and download speed. If that helps you, or add my ping. 
Like, I don't know, it's just weird. You're saying, if, you, if anyone says in my comments I'm rubbish, it's not because I'm rubbish, it's literally just how the game is. So cool. Alright, alright. So yes, it's, it's good, it's, it's good, it's not the best. It's like, I wouldn't advise it. I'll say if you have your PlayStation in, if in your house and you have a PlayStation, you might as well carry on with this. Okay, fair enough. If you have a PlayStation in your house, there's no point um, using this. You might as well just go play your PlayStation. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's new, it hasn't, they got, haven't fixed all the bugs and that yet, but... Yeah, I say, yeah. I say it gets the job done. Okay, that's my kill. Like, yeah, it's just, literally, it's just, it's just the sensitivity that messes it up a touch. Ooh. I, I died for no reason. I'm 5 for 5 and it's, the sensitivity is just poor, literally. So, you can't complain too much, but I thought I'd go show you guys what it looks like playing. Um on the screen and I'm gonna show you guys like a backwards image of what it's like what it looks like compared to uh, compared to the um, actual screen itself so let me show you that right now so here so here we have it guys we're literally just here this is the difference between my screen and my the main screen it doesn't look different on camera maybe but like look so look at the gameplay from the, the screen from the laptop screen don't look at it from the TV screen because the TV screen yeah, is clear as day but oh oh a double kill yeah I didn't realize yeah, if you look at, look at it through the, the PC screen, it looks a lot, it's a lot different to the actual um, TV screen, trust me. But the code's not too bad, but my wireless router is literally like right, just, actually just over here. It's literally just behind this monitor right here, my router, so that's why um, the connection ain't too bad. But if you take it somewhere else, like I took it to my living room, and it just was a bit weird, like it kept cutting out and stuff. So you have, you have to have decent connection and stuff, so be wary of that. Kill this guy. Oh, can we kill okay? Okay, boy. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys a quick gameplay. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it too far for you. I thought I'd show you a quick gameplay of how it looks and stuff. So yeah, guys, that's literally um about it really. Um, I went to a friend's house with my laptop and see how it worked, and it worked calm. It's still a bit of lag and stuff because it's not going to be perfect, obviously, with connection issues. But it's a start. It's a start to. The new generation of things so i can't complain too much hopefully they fix the bugs and stuff and enable like a lower connection standard to keep it a bit smoother but i'll say it's not going to be smooth it's the first day it got launched so it's not going to be perfect but if you want to leave your playstation in your house and you want to go out of your laptop and play you can just build up the marge build up the misses yeah and it can all get it done but all you gotta do is actually leave it on um What's it called? Rest mode. Leave your PlayStation 4 on rest mode and you can be fine. You just, you just put on rest mode and you can turn it on via your Mac in another area as long as you have Wi Fi. That's actually all it is. But that's actually it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. You know, new things coming to PlayStation 4. It's, I think it's a good update, you know, bringing new things to this new generation and stuff. You know, keep on growing. Technology keeps on growing and growing. So it's crazy. It's good to see things like this. And hopefully bring up more and better things. Obviously PlayStation VR coming out um, in this year as well. So the future looks bright guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy here, Deals Online. Make sure to like the video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And why not comment how you feel about it. And if you tried it out yourself, it's been your boy here. Deals Online with another one. God bless guys and safer. Yeah.